like it is obsidian and it's it's uh, scuffed out by rolling through the sand. No, nope. can't say. Long broken if it was. Okay, we're gonna bring her with us just because uh, it's not native to the creek. So it got brung here. I'm gonna bring it back to some sanctuary, place of respect, place it with others of its kin, and uh, let it spend its days as whole as it remains. Okay, we're back on the opal. You see it? A little layer of it. Those are kind of cool too. A little natural silicate glass. Knock knock, let me in. Here's the next fun game we can play while we're out here. Starting to get into this layered sandstone. And there's so fossils and other type of fossils in it. Oh, here's a good cross section. You see the different layers laid down through time. So you want to keep your eyes open when you start seeing little pebbles and other little things besides just fine sand stuck in the layers. Um, you start running in the shells. Keep your eyes out. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. You see that? That's a little shell imprint. So that's a little fossilized shell. So this layer, oh look at the back. Those are all, this is really worn down so they've been scuffed off. But those are all fossilized clamshells, or some sort of bivalve. So the cool part about that is that in books and online they can tell you what era of uh, time a layer of mud comes from by the shape of the bivalves, by the shape of the clams, because they live for only certain uh, periods of time. So it's kind of like pottery in a dig. So you can tell, you know, what eon this came out of by a rougher I mean you can start to see that bigger grit bigger little sands and stuff got stuck in there and uh, that's where I tend to find more of the actual little fossils there's a slightly rougher sandstone as opposed to super fine like that but could be anywhere this stuff breaks really easy so you can see that was one day and then another day's worth of mud and then the next day and the next day and they made layers. Oop, anything inside there? No. Nope. Okay, I don't know what that one is. It's like some of her reversed mica. It's all black with little white spots in there. And the black's all shiny. Somebody let me know. It's not man-made, that's not asphalt. It's uh, some sort of lava-produced creature, I guarantee that. Let me know, serpentines out here are so pure and green and go almost into soapstone. This whole little nodule is just, and that's not a, that's not, you know, soft flaky serpentine, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, I was trying to sit down and take a break and rest my eyeballs so I'd be all fresh. And then I saw this. And I don't think I need to rest my eyeballs. Look at that. You see the shine and the clarity? Oh, look at that. That's something really cool. That is a big old chunk of crazy colored agate. We're gonna have to go down to the water. Okay, look at this thing. I don't know if you can get the clarity. You getting that? That's like see-through. Uh, it's hard to get the right light on this. Hang on. This whole thing is just see-through craziness. It's got little black inflections in there. And the rest is just like meringue and this side goes to all grays but I mean it's that's a chunk of just oh wow
Nice. I split it in half. That's how it fit together. I wanted to see. Look at that. The little charge that came off of it. That's from the gray side. And then you can see through here more now. It is just translucent goodness. Nuggets. See that? Look at that. Right? There. That looks like a nugget of some sort of crystally gooey goodness. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Yes, it is. But it's in such a solid form. To bust a chunk off this to even show you guys what's going on with it. Let's see. Did that do her? Did that do her? Well, kind of broken rough. It's got a lot of the uh, rougher brown stone on the inside of this one, it looks like. Although it's so big, there's pockets of clear all over it. But I'm going to let that one be. This is another one of these larger chunks that's almost walking by of agate and uh, jasper mixes with one of the lines of opal in this one. Yep. Pretty bubbly though. Bubbly. That's where I feel like it's worth hitting them with the, the hammer. Look at the inside. A lot of rusty rock. Most of it's gloss on the outside and that's probably actually the enamel that held this together looking like a boulder and sometimes it's just a thin coat over the whole thing from where it leached around it when it was inside of a hill and kind of coated a, a rusty rock boulder. So we'll keep looking. Okay, I was just about to walk away from this spot. This is where I was building a little thing. I literally sat here, made my little thing. Look. You see that? Come on. Oh my god. Look what it's by. Look. It's a snail. Isn't that cool? It's a snail. You guys didn't know I was gonna find a snail, huh? Isn't that crazy? Look at it. Okay, well, let's head home. I'm gonna call that a day. I don't see anything else good around here. Just kidding. I'm messing with you. Okay, this is real. See this opal right beyond it? Look. Look. The snail was a fake, by the way. 
Look at that, it's a knife. You see that? It's been left flat here. That was never made into anything sharper. And look, all here it's been worked and all the way around. This was left normal. This looks buffed down to you, but it's just lost its shine from the sand. But that is a knife. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Wow, this is a keeper too. That's that's so cool. Yay! Look at that. That was their working edge. This was their holding edge that sat against their hand. Nice. Every time that you find a tool, you can feel its different grip spots. Man. I really, really... Let me switch hands here. But that actually feels like a left-handed tool. No, I'm totally wrong. You, This whole finger fits right here. This one sits on the back. And that one, look at, the, look at that. That's that flat spot. I got a knife. That's awesome. That's somebody's pocket knife. Okay, that's like magnet fishing, but over thousands of eons. Eons? Who knows? It's an eon day. Look. Oh. <laughs> okay, and in the background, a huge opal. We're not joking. I'll clean that off in a second. I'm going to relish this. I guess I will turn off the camera now. I'm going to sit here and just kind of go, yay, my day is made. Big old knife. Look at the bubblies on this one. Can you see that? It's got a little thin layer of just... It's really cool looking because you can see the rock under it. It's like bubbly glass. It coats the whole thing. Kind of like little stalagmites. And then this has some real clear little windows. And you can see through them to the, uh, the rock behind it. I don't know if that's going to show up for you. But yeah. Sorry I'm talking with my chin on my knee. I always do that when I stoop down. Makes me sound even more mumbly. Yeah. That's cool. That also goes in the bucket. Okay. That's a piece. And one little bit of its original edge left. All the rest broke, broken in big breaks. But that's a piece, that's the side of one. There was more in all directions. Wow. Okay. Cool. We're on to it. We're on to it, lads. Ooh, look at this chunk of that's a nice chunk of jasper. It's not quite sharp enough to be anything specific, but... Somebody's been eating only other somebody's. It's some poo-poo, and it's got all hair in it, so you know it was a predator. Not the prey, but the predator. Cable. Who knows why? Lots of reasons.
pick it up and really look at it to decide it was obsidian. It is. And um, one whole half of it is gone, meaning long ways. The whole tip, but if you look real close, and I'll get it wet for you, and try and use the light. Ah. Oh, it's clear like uh, obsidian too. It's not from Napa. Napa stuff is all black. In the opposite direction is clear lake and it's all milky. But if you look, focus. If you look right there, that's what's left of a thousand teeny tiny little flake marks that made the end of that. And uh, you just have to take my word for that one. That's <laughs> just so far gone. That's what happens if you leave them in the creek. They'll look like that pretty soon. Fossils, wherever you see this stuff, and you see shale and layers stuff. What are you? It's an ancient sword, or it might be some sort of hmm. Huh. I'll rub that on a rock real quick. It looks like it popped out of... See rust? Right there, that would be weird. What are you? Did we find some... Okay, I really don't know. That could be really old. If you look at the iron, I mean it is turned back into splinters. That looks like it would be where a crossbar would go across. You know what I'm saying? You see that? That's a hole that goes all the way through, but look where it is, and it's almost squared off and a little bit thicker there. And then it goes on up into the metal. Like that was a little, that's crazy. That's the right darn shape, I mean. It, Yeah, this little outcropping of uh, sedimentary rock shale laid on its side here, tilted up. See, it makes a dam all the way across this thing, kind of, and creates this huge pool behind it. But look, that'll have to be for another day. See the beaches continuing on for another hundreds of miles beyond there. And all of this, if it doesn't moss over as it dries out. So there's a lot of hunting to be done here. Let me know if you want me to come back. Um, it's hard to tell what you guys prefer me to be looking for, so you can always just let me know. I'm gonna go up here, I saw a little shelf. I wanna look and see where my sword came from. Ooh, look at that. See? That's a cute little green bottle. Look at this quartz. It is so clear. You can almost see my finger through it. It's got to be coming out of a, a big cavities where it's just one of the layers. That's clear. That's almost glassy quartz. No way. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at that. That's a solid see through. Nugget of carnelian agate. That is just crazy. Oh my god. That's probably just full of crystals right there. That seam. Look how see through that is. 
See that? This whole thing is like that. Wow. And that is just, just solid see-through. Wow. Wow, it's like a big old boulder of honey, man. I'm so far out, I can't carry this back. Oh my god. Of course. Look at it. Wow. Massive. Okay. Here's our cleanup. There's the shot. Give me the thumbnail. Anyways, look, I think this Jasper Core is the star of our show here. It's all the sand. Look at the greens in there. And yellows and reds. And then the little rivers of quartz that have filled everything in. I think it's just fantastic. Awesome. And you see that shape, it's almost like faceted like a gemstone because somebody's gone around and knocked all the edges off. Getting another pretty piece and another pretty piece. Look at that. Yeah. And then the sword. This is the bigger, I want to call it a hand shovel. This is our real crystally layery agates. Got lots of orange ones. These are little pockets of crystals. They're wet from being in the bucket. They'll look better. They're super thin layers of opal. A big old monster piece of opal. Look at that. Ooh. Cool green stripies. This now that I've hiked the whole place, I'm sure is petrified wood. You see the curve of it, the grain of it, and when it's really dry, you can see branches in it coming out and throwing off the grain. It's the only thing that throws grain off in a tree, and uh, rocks don't tend to have that. So, And then the rest, these are some interesting flags. You can see the color in this, even though it's drying out as we sit here and talk. It's still see-through. So are the pockets of this, it's like a wet looking milk no matter what. These are other bits of arrowheads, things that look like they were close, but to be determined. Or other, see now it looks less glorious now that it's dried out, but definitely a tip. Some snails. And last but not least, out of my super protected pocket, our big old knife. Let me get that edge wet. Okay, so that's more what it would look like when it was shiny and new and unroughed up by the the waters. If it dries out, you will see the wet edge here. Here's the sharp one. That's my happiness of the day. Well, that, well, okay, so it was a good day, you know, place that one in there, good haul, and there's boulders stacked all over this place, if I can come back with some sort of backpack to stick them in, and tantalizing little pieces of blue and green bottle all up and down the creek that say, go farther, go farther, but we're back here almost to where my jacket is, yeah, okay. We'll see you guys on the next one. Be safe out there, be respectful, and have lots of fun.